I just know that there's been a lot of negativity the past few years in our world, and I know we all get inundated with news. And I just, this is such a reminder that there's such beautiful people in the world that genuinely we all want to be together and help each other. During times like these, especially trying times, it is so important to be able to show up for someone and bring some energy in a positive way to what's going on in the world. We hope that this gives Kayla a sense of community and that she feels surrounded by all of the love that we have put into this effort for her. From being here today with our friends and our family, it's been such an incredible bonding experience and I think, you know, now more than ever, we are just really searching for ways that we can give back to the community. I think that people have really been suffering. It's been a very hard two or three years. And I think it's really important for us to now that we're starting to get back to normal, reaching out to Sense of Home um, and anything that's close to your community. Nothing's better than getting together with friends and, and doing something for someone else. so many bad things happening and I think we forget the good of human nature and humankind and I hope this reminds them and can serve as an anchor that they can always come back to. I'm just excited for her to have a home base to come to, a foundation. I think that's really important. Everything roots from there, success and you know belief in yourself. When you don't have a foundation, it's really hard to build and I hope that this helps her build a life for her and her son. Community is a big part of being a part of Ring, and the best way we can show our support to not only our community and our neighbors is um, getting out there and having our employees actually be in the community and making a difference. <laughs> it really feels like home. We are here to be your family today, so thank you for letting us do that to help you create a home. Success and share this failure, so I'm here to. Sure. As a parent, you think about all the children who never got a chance to have a family. So if even for one moment, for one afternoon, you can step in and be a family to establish a home for somebody, that little gesture really does change the trajectory of the rest of their lives. So I think it's such an incredible impact for a huge community of people that are often overlooked or forgotten about. What we're doing right now is helping her move forward in her life because she has her own stuff and in foster care, sometimes just a big bag you're carrying around with. She has her own stuff, her own identity. And she's the type of person that's just gonna pass on that power and that energy and helps her become more positive, more solid, like she feels like she's definitely a nice part of the community where people actually care and she cares. Thank you so much. Our focus areas for Junior League are homelessness and foster youth. And so it kind of seemed like the perfect synergy to work with a sense of home because by giving tonight this starting point she can just focus on doing her and in creating her next opportunity and to me that is just such an honor to be part of when it comes to former foster youth so many people focus on the negative statistics but I think that that is their superpower and so by the time for example tonight she's 20 years old she's already lived like eight lives she's had more experiences than, than many people do in their lifetimes and so that's why I'm just, I'm really amazed watching her speak. She is so strong and brilliant, and I know she can do anything she puts her mind to, and that is the power of foster youth. I love this, it feels like a home. I'm always gonna look around this room and have a reminder that it's great people out there, and that's what we need right now. You know, just a sense of community, a sense of love, and a sense of understanding within each other.